Hey everybody, this is RTS Targe here with another video review this time of the Mega Bloks Halo Authentic Collector Series UNSC Hornet Attack set. Uh, this is set number five of the Target exclusives, um, and it has 265 pieces, and it says it's for kids eight and up. And yeah, that's it for the front. Uh, first off, you may notice a slight change of scenery. Uh, that's because my normal place is full of all of my Halo collection, because we're planning on cleaning up there. So, I'm down here with everything I need except for a legroom. Yeah. Um, so, set includes a Hayabusa Spartan with the only weapon that they ever get, a sword, which you can never use in the game. So, Mega Bloks, give, he needs a weapon. Uh, comes with the UNSC Pilot and a Covenant Jackal. And the two main things is the Covenant Platform, which never appeared before, and is pretty nice. And then the Hornet, which has a lot of articulation and is a lot better than the previous one. So that said, get to the figures. And we're on the tripod again. Zooming in. Okay. This is uncomfortable. The articulation for the figures is ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulder, a hinge on the elbow, and a swivel on the wrist. Um, I guess it's a swivel on the waist and hips, but really it's just they're attached with the cod piece slash hip armor uh, rotating freely around it. Um, on the thigh slash leg there's a ball joint, then there's a hinge on the knee. And so, now for the Gunna Jackal which is basically the same as the one I did previously. And yeah, so it's really weird getting your perspective from the camera. Yeah, they fall off, they fall down pretty easily. It comes with a carbine and a red shield this time. The return of the demented chicken. Okay, now for the fun stuff. This is the Covenant platform. It's fairly simple. We build first. Oh, and the uh, pilot has a magnum. Which you should really just give the Spartan since you can never replace the regular humans. Okay, so these are stickers, these two. And there's one, same there, and there. So they basically polar arrayed. Kudos if you know that term. Um, these and these 360, two copies. Sorry, um, I use CAD a lot. So that's about it. It's pretty nice. Now for the main part. Now, I will start off by saying that this is a lot better than the previous uh, Hornet. Uh, for two main reasons. One, these rotate. And two, it hasn't fallen apart yet. Yeah. Okay, so um, this slides back and forth to open and close. I believe someone said that that would be a good... Uh, 
you could a good brick or piece to use on a falcon except the falcons have the kind that just open and close like that like that so they're wrong the missile launchers those are new this rotates has a little red stripe on that which is printed nice okay so um for this uh, I like them having them straight up, you know, so just in a hovering position, or landed, except they prefer being right here. Oh no, they, they, they sort of snap right there, and right there, and right there, and right there, and, yeah, I mean, it, it isn't really difficult to get them straight up, but they just prefer being like this, which makes sense if you realize that the whole fuselage is slanted like that instead of just, you know, this end being keeled over like this and stuff. Uh, these flaps go up and down. There are handles on here. And tons of stickers. Really, it, it's an obscene amount of stickers. I can't zoom out anymore. Darn it. Uh, so, yeah, luckily, in fact, it came with two sets of stickers. Uh, because I really screwed up on one of the stickers and had to use the other one because it just tore. So, opens close. Really like it. Yeah, it was 30 bucks at Target. I'm not sure if it's sold anywhere else. It may be sold on the Mailbox website. Um, not sure. I haven't really checked. And, let's see, the things I don't really like about it, I'm not really, I'm, you know, basically the only thing I really don't like about it is the amount of stickers, and that this, that the Hyabusa, that Hyabusa doesn't have a weapon. Other than that, it's great. Um, yeah, I would give this nine and a half I mean, it's vast improvement over the last Hornet um, you can see my review of that there's a link to it or well, you know there's the showing how many videos I have and you know click that you know, that, that, that box up there um, yeah so nine out of nine and a half out of ten it was $30 and has roughly 265 pieces. This has been RTS Targe and I'll see you in the next part of review when I do something else.